All right, we're up on a ridge line right now. We just came up from Straight Creek. Good little climb. I think that was maybe the second climb of six that we're doing today. We're now headed down to Long, Long Creek. So that shouldn't be but maybe half a mile. Beautiful day, very warm today. It's chilly last night, probably in the upper 40s. Uh, but it's it's warming up now, sun's out, not, not a cloud up there as far as I can see. Well, we are about three and a quarter mile in, and we've had three good climbs so far. I don't know if that's all part of the big six climbs. I'm sure a couple of them were, but it's about 920, and we're in a flat area right now, and we're enjoying the level surface before we have to make another climb. So, I don't know when that will be. Probably not too long from now. Well, got a little wet, but nothing crazy. Just came across the other uh, Big Fork trailhead and had to find the connector to the Eagle Rock trail. Got that done. Guy told us where it was. Whew. Oh man, got some hills out here. Got some hills. three and a half miles to go to our campsite do what yeah i think i think we're camping right we're, after we turn we're camping right at the little missouri aren't we yeah, just around the corner right up above the trail i think right so we've uh we've gone about what nine miles yeah and we got three and a half left luckily i think it's pretty flat we uh, went through all the big hills today, all six of them, and Big Brushy was no joke. That's probably the one of the toughest hills I've ever had to go up anywhere. But uh, we're done with that for the day, and we just got to cruise on into camp here. The others are still behind us. I don't know how far though. Well, good morning. We're on day two. We camped right over there. And uh, today we're gonna do about just 10 miles or so uh, to another campsite. Not sure where yet, we'll find one. But uh, yesterday, Dwayne and I came past this site across the little Missouri, hung out couldn't find a decent campsite so we came back here and found that one over there so it all worked out but now we're gonna oh, gonna cross the Missouri, little Missouri again 
be my third crossing in two days. So, slept really well last night. Everyone was really tired. I think I crawled in my tent right, right around six, maybe a little before. Just uh, pretty tired. Those uh, six big climbs yesterday took a toll on everybody. Just, and then the rocks, you have to walk on these rocks down here in the Washita's, and it just makes for a hard day. Today should be easier, thankfully. More trail, less, less hills. So, looking forward to that. Okay, coming up on the, the big crossing here. I'll show you guys. Bunch of down trees through here. Okay, here we go. Coming on through. What do you think, Keith? I tried to see if I could find a spot over there to maybe walk across over there, but it's going to get me in that spot. Ooh, that's some cold water. <laughs> I bet it's tough on your feet, isn't it? Oh, look at that. That's beautiful down there. Just absolutely beautiful. Water is cold. Well, at least we're not doing this in January. <laughs> Something to say for that. Ooh, boy, that water will wake you right up. He found a little deep spot there. Where was the trailhead? Over here? Like right there, isn't it? Yeah. That's what I thought.
Easy, Dwayne. That's going to be a slick rock. Yeah. I don't. I went ahead and went in down that way. I just went ahead and got my feet wet. There was no real way around it. Yeah. Just don't. Just don't fall and hurt yourself. Yeah. I think I might just I just yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> Keith, good god, man. <laughs> that's the stuff on the Whoa. You get no You get no style points, I'll tell you that. You made it across. <laughs> they caught up with me and I was able to filter some water. And now I guess the next stop will be Albert Pike will be a halfway point five miles today. So where's the trail go? The dog Neville is having some feet problems, so we're gonna have to put the boots on him. Oh, I guess they went this way. around the debris field. A lot of down trees through here. <clears throat> oh. Wow, look at all this. Good grief. This turned into a bushwhack all of a sudden. Who are the trail maintainers? Well, there's supposed to be a view from up here, but a Washita fog canceled it out, which is unfortunate. Looks like it would have been pretty good. All right, continuing on. Looking for a white blaze. I hope this is the trail, it may not be, it may just be a spur. Come on blaze, where are you? Boy, I wish that view would have been there. That would have been cool. Would have been neat. Sometimes nature gives it, sometimes she takes it away. Yesterday she gave up pretty good. Pretty good views. Not today though. Humidity is awful. Everybody is just sweating. And the sweat just stays on your clothes. And you can't do anything with it. Oh, look at this. Very cool. Ah. Wow. Man, I wish there wasn't any fog. This would be beautiful. Beautiful. It's still pretty. But... You can see some of the color in the trees down there. Oh, if only there was a little bit of sun. I feel some mist, like, feels like it's not drizzling, but I feel some fog mist. I guess that's what you call it, I don't know.
Good. Oh, Dwayne. Easy, Dwayne. Easy. Yeah, I think I am too. Here we go. Just, yeah, I don't want to fall either, so I'll take wet over. Yeah. Here you go. Right through here, Dwayne. Be careful on these rocks. Oh man. Alright, up we go. Well, here we are, day three. And we're probably two miles uh, into our day three. We've got seven to go total so we're only five miles from the parking lot rain last night steady all night long and uh my tarp system worked well uh Dwayne had a little bit of an issue where he was camped he's had a little bit of a slant some water rolled into his into his uh tent area but uh Otherwise, I think everybody else did pretty well. There was a very large boulder <laughs> came crashing down the hillside on the other side of Blaylock Creek at about, I don't know, four this morning, woke everybody up, you know. It was pretty, uh, it was pretty loud, but it's been humid the last two days. Day one wasn't humid, thankfully. That's when we made the big climbs. But yesterday and today are just humid days and all the moisture just stays on you. So but it's just a beautiful area. I mean, it's a tough trail, both in the route that it takes as well as the terrain, lots of rocks, loose dirt, that sort of thing. Okay guys, my last uh, creek crossing of the 28 miles and how do you do this without busting your butt, be careful here, your feet are just going to get wet so you just take it, don't worry about it, alright.
God. Soaking wet. 10 o'clock, man. 7.62 miles in what, two and a half hours? Yeah. Man, we were smoking. <laughs> we did. That's great. I kind of took it a little easier at the end. I was starting to feel a little twinges, but it ended up doing, being fine. So yeah. Didn't have to worry about it. I'm going to save my track here. Oh. Oh, uh, you going to your truck? Yeah, I'm going to find some jack loads. Yeah, I'm going to undo. Awesome. Thanks for hiking. Yeah, it was fun, man. I enjoyed it. I really did. I, I tell you what, this is this trail got my attention. Yeah. This was no easy, no easy trail. It's not a beginner. No, it's not. It's for sure. All right, well, we'll see you next time. All right, Dwayne.